Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and tomorrow the Houston Texans are playing the Tennessee Titans in their Week 17 matchup, the final home game of the season. And I, you know, I'm with how good of a season the Texans have had. A, um, I, I can't believe I haven't gone to a game this year, and I'm not going to Sunday's game. So let's just pray the Texans win out. Um, these last two games and the Jacksonville Jaguars just lose one game. And I know it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem great against the two and 13 Carolina Panthers, but Bryce Young has been playing better and Trevor Lawrence is out, but let's just hope the Texans can win that division and get a home playoff game. And maybe I can go, but that those tickets are going to be so expensive. If the Texans make it to a playoff game, is it realistic for the Texans to win out these final two games and the Jaguars to lose at least one? Because if that happens, the Texans will win their division. In the AFC South, yes, it is realistic. I think the only unrealistic part about it, which I don't think it's unrealistic, I just think um, it will be a little bit of a hard matchup for us, um, is the Week 18 matchup against the Colts. Um, it's so crazy how... Two teams have changed so much, so much, in a matter of a year. You know, going off of Week 18 matchups. You know, last year these two teams, the Texans and the Colts, matched up in Week 18, and it was Sam Ellinger versus Davis Mills, and the two teams are playing for draft rights, and the Texans look like a pathetic organization for winning that game and losing the first overall pick. And I'm not going to throw any shots to Bryce Young because, look, I watched that Panthers-Packers uh, game last week, and Bryce looked pretty good. And look how much hate a guy like Trevor Lawrence got in his rookie season was. And look what he's done in the last two years. I know the Jags are 8-7, and seven and they're in danger of losing their division, but he's had some injury problems. Look at guys like Trevor Lawrence or uh, Peyton Manning who have gotten hate in their in their rookie season. Other guys who have not looked great in their rookie seasons – he needs to get some weapons, but um, what I'm trying to say is if the Texans win that game right there, we don't get C.J. Stroud. And speaking of C.J. Stroud, C.J. Stroud will be back in this game this week against the Tennessee Titans in Week 17. We are at home, and it's going to be great to have C.J. Stroud. Also, uh, I don't know if he's still I, – I doubt he's – he might be leading. Or, or, he might still be leading us at tackles, but Blake Cash and linebacker will also be back. One surprise me if he still is leading the Texans in tackles. Speaking of which, one game he got nineteen or twenty tackles, nearly broke a record. Um, but he has missed like the last two games for the Texans, so who knows if he still is leading the Texans in tackles? But sure, great that C.J. Stroud and Blake Cashman are back. That's going to help us so much. But there's still some other guys who will help us that are, you know, not playing this game or might not be playing in this game. Andrew Beck, fullback, questionable. Jonathan Gennard, defensive end, out with an ankle injury. Eric Murray on IR. Sheldon Rankings, questionable. He's a starter, uh, defensive tackle, ankle. Malik Collins, defensive tackle, uh, questionable with a hip injury. Steven Nelson, our starting corner, one of our, our second-best corner. Uh, questionable with a foot injury. Jimmy Ward was just put on IR with a quad injury. Will Anderson Jr. still questionable. Who knows if he'll be able to play. Graylin Arnold and MJ Stewart are both on IR. Tegan Quatsonar on IR. Tavier Thomas on IR. Hamstring, he's been so good when he's been out there this season. Obviously, we know about Tank Dell. Titus Howard's out for the season. Jared Patterson out for the season as well. Dylan Horton has been away with personal issues. Hassan Ridgeway towards Achilles. Uh, Kenyon and Kendrick Green are both out for the season. Uh, DJ Scraffy Jr. is out for the season. Uh, uh, Killian Zaire is out for the season as well. Um, Scott Quisenberry, our, our center, tore his ACL in, in minicamp or, or, sorry, in training camp. So this in, this injury, the injuries this season has been brutal. But, you know, trying to go back to what I was trying to say about, you know, the Week 18, about how far these two teams have come since then. The Texans, um, you know, look, they're eight and eight and seven, and um, they were hated on for losing or, or sorry, winning that game on purpose. And 
uh, not losing on purpose to win the number one overall pick, and that number one overall pick goes to the Bears instead, and they trade it to the Panthers. They get Bryce Young. We get C.J. Stroud. Look how that has turned out. This is one season. That's not going to – one season is not going to turn, you know, the rest of these guys' careers. But so far, Stroud has been the way better player than Bryce Young. Um, but – and let's go to the Colts side as well. Um, you know, they were – they had a head coach that – no, no hate to Jeff Saturday, but they had a coach that uh, his the highest level of coaching he'd been. He had an interim head coach that interim head coach at the highest level of his coaching before was high school, and they had a third string quarterback starting that had never start, and that's coming from a Texas Longhorns fan. Love Sam Ellinger, um, and just both both franchises were in a bad place, and um, that week eighteen matchup between the Texans and Colts might end up being a AFC South an AFC South title game. If the Colts take care of business against the Raiders, which I don't know, the Raiders just took care of the Chiefs pretty easily. But if the Colts take care of business at home against the Raiders this week, the Texans take care of business at home against the Titans, and the Jacks don't take care of business at home with all three teams playing at home this week. If that all happens and the Jags lose to the Panthers. They become 8-8. Eight and eight. We beat the Titans. We become 9-7. and seven. And the Colts end up beating the Las Vegas Raiders. Then the Texans-Colts matchup in Week 18 then becomes a AFC South um, championship game. And th- that would be a great game, honestly. And, um, and uh, honestly, I think it would probably be uh, the Sunday night football game of the week. You know, they don't decide who's going to be the Sunday night football game up until the right, until the, until like the last couple days or so. Um, or until, you know, after week 17 is over, they don't announce national television games for week 18. All right, let's get into this game. I already went over the injury report for the Texans this week. But let's go over some predictions. Shroud is back. How do the Texans play? Texans beat the Titans, what, 19-16 to when Case Keenum was the starter. And uh, I just think the Texans take care of business in, the, in this one. Will Levis is back for the Titans. Um, they just lost 27, or 20 to 17 uh, without him. So h- how do how do you know how do they play with Will Levis back? They lost in overtime to us when we had Case Keenum. Our defense played a great performance. I hope our defense can get back to the way it was two weeks ago against the Tennessee Titans because our defense last week was terrible. I know we're missing some guys, Blake Caspin out, a couple other guys out, Will Anderson Jr., but those are two guys who are not playing in the secondary and not dealing with Amari Cooper. DeAndre Hopkins, a guy who um, this will be his first game back in Houston. So excited for that. Um, He's matched up against the Texans twice since he left, uh, but First game was in Arizona. Second game was in Tennessee a couple weeks ago. This will be his first game back in the H. and um, But that's what I'm worrying about going into this game. Hopkins wasn't much of a threat or a problem in the week uh, in the week 15 matchup against the Tennessee Titans. But after what Amari Cooper did to us last week, I wouldn't be surprised if Hopkins then becomes a problem, and especially with some secondary issues right now. Uh, Jalen Petrie struggling massively right now. Steven Nelson is injured. Uh, Derek Stingley Jr. is playing great football. And or I think our best hope is for Derek Stingley Jr. to play some good defense on um, on uh, Hopkins. But I think another another guy who I think the Texans should trust a lot, maybe you know guarding uh, Hopkins a couple times. I know he's not a corner, but maybe bring some help for Stingley a guy who is returning to Houston and is a former teammate of DeAndre Hopkins, Kareem Jackson, a guy who hits hard. I think he's going to be a big help in this game for the Houston Texans. I think this defense needs to be more aggressive. Their secondary was amazing in the Tennessee Titans Week 15 matchup. They played hard, and they didn't let anything go by. I think that's the way they need to be in this matchup tomorrow against the against the Titans, and that is not what they were last week against the Cleveland Browns. They just got stepped on. And that needs to change. And I think D'Amico Ryans is going to make an input and change things around after this last loss and this last, uh, you know, disappointment. And I think D'Amico is going to make some changes. 
That's what good defensive coaches make. That's what good defensive sorry, that's what good coaches the good defensive coaches do. They make changes, they make adjustments, and I think that's what D'Amico will do. As of for offense, um with CJ Stroud back, I'm not worried about the offense. That has been a worry in the last two weeks. I know CJ Stroud can get the ball to any anyone, any wide receiver's hands, and uh sure tank is out. Um, the last time CJ was out there was a struggle against New York, but that's New York. They're a great pass defense. They're a top three pass defense in the NFL. They're a top five defense in the NFL. They are a worst. They are they are they are a bottom top five uh, team in the NFL mainly because of their offense. Um, I think the Jets are kind of slept on in the area because, um, you know, honestly. They're such a bad team. They're such a bad offense. But teams get hated on when they kind of struggle on them uh, because their defense is so strong. Uh, oh, how did you only score uh, 13 points against the Jets? Or how did you only score 20 points against the Jets? Their defense is tough. Um, I know the Texans, we only scored six points against the Jets, uh, although C.J. Stroud barely played at all in the fourth quarter. Uh, in that game, didn't even throw for 100 pass guards. His worst game of his career. So yes, coming off of his worst game of worst game of his career, how will that be? But also keep in mind, Nico Collins got hurt early in that game. CJ will have Nico Collins back. Also, that was going up against the best secondary in the NFL. This Tennessee Titans defense does not have a great secondary. Uh, I think Stroud will take advantage of that. Um, another guy who I think will dominate, who did great against this uh, um, Tennessee pass defense, Dalton Schultz. Um, I have the Texans winning this one, but I think Tennessee will make a fight for it, just like they did uh, a week ago uh, or two weeks ago. And I have the Texans winning this one by 7, 27 to 20. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and peace out. Go Texans.